Hello everybody, I'm Dunham from the Hammer Game Channel, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and to Kaiser Redux, where today we're not playing an episode of the A to Z series, we're just randomly playing Kaiser Redux and we're revisiting the Kingdom of Britain, this time with a different monarch on the throne, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, it is Yashuhito. So yeah, we're going to be joining the Code of Prosperity Sphere and seeing what we can get up to with Japan. So here we are, the Kingdom of Britain. We are now obviously ruled by Joshua the First, or Yashuhito. We have six national spirits for the time being. We have militias, which will eventually go. Desire for Revenge, which is quite a nice wee one. Maximus Defence Force, I'm assuming that will go. International Avant Guard should probably go as well. We have Revolutionary Synthetic Oil and Moderate Control of the Military. So we've got some nice wee bonuses in there. I don't know if all of them will stay. So obviously today's focus tree is going to be mainly this part, which I'm going to try and get through as quickly as possible so we can start rebuilding the Empire. Uh, we do, of course, still keep the uh, four little parts of the tree up here. Um, that we'll work down as well and we will reform or just get rid of the militias I think we're probably gonna end up dissolving it. Yeah, we're gonna dissolve the militias I should also point out that we are already a member of the co-prosperity sphere Which is just a little bit cursed considering we're way over here in Europe Well, this was not a decision I was expecting but we have a choice here in regards to um, Our flag we could keep it as it is or we could raise the army flag combine the designs let the lion wave once more or just use the old royal standard or we could have the Union Jack. And here's confirmation that Yashuhito has arrived in London and he has been crowned. Just let's go for rigged elections. Militarist constitution, I don't really want Hobart to have a cult. I, I don't really like the sounds of that so yeah let's do democracy on a leash. So a delegation from the far eastern republic of Transmur has approached us asking for official recognition of their state as legitimate Russian government. Um, obviously they are aligned with Japan so it does make sense that we go ahead and recognize them so let's go ahead and give them the recognition they're wanting. A military government is also being founded. The United Britain party will uh, take the helm and that is now democracy well and truly on a leash. Okay it would appear we have a little problem with some protesters who are demanding the snap elections happen right this minute. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and begin the preparations for those. So the British elections of 1937 has occurred and we're going to have the United Britain Party win the day. Well, I'm not going to complain at the results of this focus. We're going to go straight up to extensive conscription, which um, is putting us up two levels. So I've just had a wee thought. I should probably send some troops to help the Pacific States of America. You know, since Japan is doing that, I feel like we should probably also do the same. Oh well, we've got a wee encirclement over here, so we've got a small contribution to the war already. So this is an interesting proposition we've been given by the Ottomans. They get some civilian factories and convoys from us, and we gain the rights to all resources in Mosul as a result. Um, do you know what? Why not? Well, I've got some news out of Russia. It's civil war time, so Transmur is probably going to end up at war with Siberia very, very soon, and then obviously it's all going to kick off. Oh, there we go. Transamur is trying to take over Siberia by force. Um, I guess I can send volunteers to you as well. Well, we've completed full political dominance, which does mean we have our rebuilding the Empire decisions. My, my plans of helping out everyone else are uh, getting put on hold whilst we naval invade Ireland. Well, it looks like we're about to land. Yeah, we have successfully landed. Well, the Irish are slowly but surely falling here. We are managing to just snake our way through the nation. Well, there goes Dublin, so just need Belfast to fall and we should be all good in Ireland. Yeah, it's not gonna be long now until victory is fully achieved. Yep, there it goes. So we've obviously got the usual choices in regards to Ireland. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the second option. So we're going to gain that national spirit for the time being and uh, it's going to take a while before we can get cores on the territory as a result of that. Well, we're in Transamur, we're in Vladivostok. They have an, a rail gun, excuse me? Um, anyways, T.E. Lawrence here and Bernard are going to head out to Irkutsk and see if we can take that over. Transamur seems to have a decent size, that's Siberia. Decent size army actually. 
28 to 59 divisions. That's not too shabby, Cold Jack. And thus it has begun. Well, I ended up doing absolutely nothing in Transamur, but uh, Cold Jack has emerged victorious for once. Well, that's the militias no more. They are gone. I had hoped I was maybe going to be able to reform them for once because I feel like I always dissolve them. But uh, yeah, sadly, we did not choose the requirements to do so. Oh, Japan has ended up at war with the Philippines. Well, I shall send some troops to aid you in that endeavor. Or not, because for some reason Japan doesn't want you to join in any wars. Nice. Well, would you look at that? The Russian civil war is over and Vladimir Volsky is in power. And it would appear things are going pretty well for the uh, Pacific States of America. I'm hoping that Robert Taft can... Uh, end up being victorious in this. I can't believe the Russians are still supporting them. What? Wow, it's already been two years since we uh, we won in Ireland. Wow, okay, well, um, we must maintain the status quo. We could uh, make them a puppet, or we could do Operation Demetrius. Usually Operation Demetrius results in them revolting, so... Uh, well, we'll do it. We'll, we'll take the drastic measures. We'll see if it actually works for once. Okay, so, yep, the Irish are rising up against us. It's okay, because I definitely didn't send my new batch of divisions over there to help crush them as quickly as possible. Well, that was that was easy enough. That didn't really take too much effort from us. And there we go. The national spirit is being removed, and we gain cores on all of Ireland. Attempt to form a deal, or is that there is plenty of fish in the sea? Um, I'll attempt to form a deal with the, the Icelanders, but... I, I don't really see what this is going to end up doing. Well, that's not great. The Icelandic Canadian deal has been signed. Oh dear, the Icelandic fishing trawlers are claiming our waters and stealing catches that should be rightfully ours. How should we respond? Um, I guess we're going to blow them up with our ships. In a not so shocking turn of events, we have managed to scare off the fishermen that we're trying to uh, foolishly claim our waters. We're lucky this is not TNO, because I'm pretty sure that would have resulted in nukes getting launched all over the world. Just like, what is it, the shrimp scenario in that mod. I thought we had finished with this issue, but now Icelandic patrol boats are causing us issues to our fishing boats. Is this eventually going to end up with us going to war at this rate? That, that's what it's going to do. Wait, what? Japan's created the East Asian co-prosperity sphere, like their industrial thing. I'm not a part of it, but Transamur is. This is, this is completely unacceptable. Well, 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 the Buenos Aires Lima Axis has formed and it looks like Argentina and Peru are aiming to take down the Brazilians. So we'll, we'll see how that goes for them. Well, uh, this, this whole Iceland issue is just getting worse and worse. We could get aggressive towards the Canadian fleet that's arrived, but let's stick together. Well, one of our admirals has just come up with a plan to break the Canadian stationed in Iceland, so, um... But we'll see how well this, this raid goes. So Holbrook has put his plan into action and with a submarine under his control, he has entered the harbour where the Canadian fleet was docked for the night and has fired two tor uh, salvos of torpedoes into the HMCS Cumberland. The first salvo being ineffective, but the second one ripping a massive hole in the starboard hull, immediately causing it to list over and begin to flood. And um, yeah, we've made a clean exit after that so a very very successful raid wave <laughs> the raid has been discovered oopsie so we can deny our role in the whole thing or we can boast about our role in the sinking um i am i am gonna boast about how successful it was get it round you well i'm not liking what i'm reading here um our spies have reported back from canada basically informing us that our surprise attack has not discouraged them and has rather done the opposite and has emboldened them so yeah, it's time for us to either blockade Iceland or back down. And I am not backing down. I am no coward. Let's blockade Iceland. Well, there's a second Velkrieg underway. The Alsace ultimatum has occurred. And, of course, the Germans have said, hell no. Yeah, the uh, the Third International is very, very weak today. Um, we have France, Hawaii, the Socialist Republic, Italy, and the Bulgarian Socialist Republic. It's nothing to fear at all because the Russians created... The 4th International, which means they're probably going to do hee-haw. Oh, a successful operation in regards to the blockade of Iceland. We have cut off the Canadians who are currently in Iceland, and um, there's no reports coming back suggesting that there's going to be any action from them in result to it. Perfect, and thanks to having a wonderful blockade in place, we have delivered our demands to Iceland. 
and hopefully we will see them basically given to us because they have no other option really. I'm quite shocked by that. Iceland has actually rejected our demands. You, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Well, I'm going to display our power now and just send a large force to deal with them, so let's let's go for it. Well, France is in a bit of a pickle because the Entente has joined the war and, um, yeah, they have Iberia under their control, or at least in their faction. Um, South Africa made the brave move of joining the Third International, which I don't see why you would do that. That's just silly. So that's a successfully landed in Iceland without any hassle whatsoever, but I don't want to get our hopes up too much because we could easily bottle it. Okay, Iceland's going to have a new government. Really? I, I don't know if that work for the Union of Iceland to join the Third International. Oh, that's so stupid. I helped do that. I helped do that. Well, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. The Indo-Chinese Union has joined the Third International. Again, why did you join them? There is no real reason to do so because they're going to lose. They're not going to help you win. Well, the German-Japanese war has begun. I, I'm not quite ready to, to jump into that just yet. I'm just getting ready to declare war in the Commune of France and also the Netherlands. Uh, we will get to Germany at some point, though. Don't you worry. Oh, no, what a terrible shame. The Halifax conference has failed. Who <laughs> who saw that coming? Well, it's a little bit OP, this decision, because it instantly gives us the annex war goal. So I can just grab that. Oh, my days. Japan. Japan has signed a non-aggression pact with them. Well, I might as well just go ahead and do one of the most cursed things ever and declare war in Germany and head out to France. When, when did this war kick off? Why, why is the Russian Socialist Republic struggling to deal with the Don Caban Union? Who's a puppet of Ukraine, but Ukraine's not in the war because they're a puppet of Germany themselves? What the hell? Well, sorry, Netherlands, but I am coming for you. Uh, I was going to say, we might find it difficult to land, but that would appear not to be the case. Well, the Netherlands is falling very nicely to us. Very nicely, indeed. Um, why, oh, why? Would I give Flanders Bologna their claims? I'm not that silly. Liberate the Netherlands. I had slightly forgotten, but obviously Japan has a war with the Germans, so they are now on my border, looking at me going, Hello! Well, eh, uh, hello Germany. Yep, hello. I don't know why I waited to justify you now, actually. I could have just joined the war anyways. Not really what I had planned on doing at this moment in time, but, eh, uh, yeah. We're, eh, uh, rocking and rolling. Okay, I, I am a bit concerned. What the hell are the Germans doing? And why is that land going to Japan? <laughs> ha! Oh, and... Oh, Austria's joined in. Oh, we've got ourselves a two-front war now. I've just realised that the Czech Republic is, of course, free. Um, that's cool. That, that makes things slightly easier for us in terms of fronts, possibly. Uh, we also have one up here. Okay, great. Um... Cool. Everybody just do what they're doing, and yeah, we'll 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 see what happens. Right. No, no not gonna lie. Uh, we have absolutely slaughtered the Germans. Um, I honestly don't know what they've been doing. Germany's declared war in Lithuania. Um, I think you have bigger things to worry about, Germany. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Um, well, uh, I, I'm going to be taking a, a nice big bit of Germany here. Well, uh, the Austrians are losing, which is very, very nice. I can't wait to control the majority of Europe at this rate. I'm sorry, Czech Republic, you might actually have to be put down. You're kind of in the middle of all my territory now. Oh, that's a new improved Europe. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit disgusting. Never did I think I'd see the day where the co-prosperity sphere ruled over Europe. When uh, Japan's done nothing. Eh... Uh, Excuse me, Serbia? Well, I wonder why Serbia's invaded me. It's definitely not for one whole piece of territory to help them become Yugoslavia. Ah, perfect. There goes Serbia. And thanks to Serbia dying, Romania also dies. Well, that's very, very nice. Well, it's nice to see the Entente has got their priorities straight. They've sent an absolute ton of divisions into Greece. A ton of divisions that are about to be absolutely massacred. Damn, well, they were very easily dealt with. Sorry, Czech Republic, but, uh... Yeah, I've... I have come for you. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent pocket. Their troops already cut off. Well, that's an interesting development. New England has declared war on the US. So, yeah, hi America. We'll, we'll sign a non-aggression pact with you. Perfect, the Czech Republic is no more. Well, sorry Poland, but you're just another nation that is falling to our complete domination of Europe. 
Well, pretty much game set and match. Just need to wait for Warsaw to fully fall and I think we will be all good. Oh, you're kidding me on. France is getting too... Two bits of the territory. Yeah, you're having a giggle. Well, this is definitely a little bit cursed, but we are moving down to Spain to help the French absolutely destroy the Entente down here. Oh, the Dominion of Delhi has just been taken over, so the Bartia Commune is looking pretty strong, actually. Oh, that's a nice wee pocket of Spanish and French troops up here in the north of Spain. Well, there goes Madrid, so Spain, oh, Spain's gone. Well, Portugal is about to be ours. And a lot of divisions are dying. Yep. There we go. Collapse of the Portuguese Empire. Um, What's going on here, though? Well, that's came out of absolutely nowhere, but Percy Hobart is disappearing. He is retiring. And T.E. Lawrence has taken over as the head of our government. And the 1942 elections now here. The United Britain Party is going to win the day again, though. Well, to arms we go against the Italians, and so far it's going very well for us. I am going to instantly betray the French after this, though, which is going to be quite tragic for them, but uh, quite good for me. Well, that's a tragedy for the Italians. A decent portion of their troops have just been cut off. Well, it's going very well in Italy. We've also got the second invasion of Spain going on right now as well. Um, the Entente is back, so we need to put them back down. Well, we've absolutely slaughtered the Italians. Like, they have really been decimated by our armed forces. Oh well, there goes the Italians. Um, how much of this can I take? Well, I managed to take all of the uh, Italian Federation there, which I'm very happy about. Oh, well, that's the, uh, the Italian Federation now, my puppet. Well, the Entente have almost been bested in Spain for a second time. Yeah, that's a nice wee pocket over here. Definitely going to have to naval invade the French very, very soon, because they are going to be down and out, I think. Okay, that's Spain secured at this moment in time. Hello, France. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> What? Um, they weren't. They weren't even home. That that makes our life so much easier. Like we're literally landing without any bother whatsoever. Oh no, the French national state has died. Oh no, what a what a terrible shame that is. Um, where is the Empire of Brazil currently operating out of? Like I I literally cannot see them. Um, well I found I found Brazil. They're this this one single. Single tile here in the jungle. Yeah, it's not cursed in the slightest me declare war on them, but that way I can go hello you and hello to you. Right, we didn't manage to take Boston, but we took Providence, so I'm just going to tell these guys to stop invading and they'll just come and land in now. We kind of botched this naval invasion over here because the CSA is at war with the USA, so yeah, kind of lost the territory to them because it went to America. Well, that uh, kind of ch changed things a little bit. I'm hoping we can uh, set this naval invasion off soon without any hassle. Oh nice, we've successfully landed at Halifax, which is ideal. Okay, for the most part things look like they're going fine for us in Canada. Oh, Boston's gone, so I'm hoping New England's going to be gone sooner rather than later at this rate. Yeah, the Entente is very soon... It's gone. Wait a second. King Edward has been captured. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh, glorious, glorious, glorious. All right, okay, so I'm still at war with a few nations. Uh, the Portuguese Empire. Surely they should be capitulating. Oh, there goes poor Alaska. Wait, what? I can give Alaska to the Japanese. No, give it to Canada. Well, it was very nice working with you, France, but it's now time for me to declare war on you. And I am currently relying on the Japanese and a, a Thailand division to take over Portugal. But anyways, it's... Ah, we're... we're we're pushing in very nicely. Do you know what? You just take a walk to La Rochelle or something. Let's try and cut them in two. With the fall of France... Oh, there goes Paris already. With the fall of the French Commune, um, the Third and National will be no more. Yeah, like they're dead already. They are dead. Yeah, there they go. Sweet. And I do have the most score. Well, this is a very nice looking Europe now. Not gonna lie. The Co-Prosperity Sphere rules supreme. We also do have a decent portion of North America. And also Africa, because Japan puppet hates South Africa. Yeah, it's it's already over for Norway. They've they've lost Narvik, and I have a lot of divisions down here in the south pushing towards Oslo. There we go, Norway is no more. Well, there we go. I think I'm going to call that a day. It's been a very, very successful episode. We have taken the Kingdom of Britain, and I've basically created a new British Empire consisting of basically the majority of Europe, North Africa, 
and North North America. Um, Japan Japan's done barely barely anything. So I, I'm quite disappointed with you, Hirohito. You've you've done bugger all, really. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall catch you all on Friday for another video. Until then, do take care. Cheer bye for now.